I was born and raised in Milledgeville, Georgia, and I got my medical degree at the Medical College of Georgia and Augusta, and um, I was really excited with orthopedic surgery. I think that's what I was born to be. Dr. Kelly and I went to medical school together, and we became good friends at that time, and we never lost contact thereafter. I primarily do most of my work on knees, hips, spines, and shoulders. And spinal injuries are not uncommon and very often very catastrophic. Tremendous advances have been made in spine treatment and spine surgery even over the last 10 years, which has made spine care easier and more successful. We do a lot of non-operative things that often are very successful with various types of rehabilitation, back supports, injections in and about the spines, and often these things will uh, eliminate the need for surgery in certain cases. We always try conservative methods first because they are very frequently successful. When those fail and somebody's still uh, having so much pain or difficulty that they aren't able to function, then we do more extensive investigations and not infrequently that will end up with surgery. We do a large number of total joint replacements here. With a total joint replacement, what God gives you is always better than what we can make. although. We've advanced so far in the technology of total joints that we've been able to use them in younger and younger and younger people. So with the technology we had now, if it's needed, I would not hesitate to do a total hip or a total knee in someone in their 30s. And 20 years ago, it was in their 60s or older, uh, preferably over 70. But... Uh, they're continuing to make advances um, at an astounding rate. And that's another reason we have to constantly stay up on all the information, journals, meetings, and everything to keep up with the advances. In times past, most people thought that if you had a back problem, it was due to an injury. Nowadays, we're thinking, um, there are other things involved, like genetics. Uh, some people have genes that, are def that cause abnormalities in the constituents that make up the spine, which would lead them to deteriorate sooner than other people. We even find ruptured disc in teenagers, not infrequently. And, of course, that occurs throughout most of the life. It's most common from 30 to 50 in the working years. So nobody has all the answers, but it's, uh, it's said that about 85% of everybody in the country will have at least one episode of significant problem with the back. Total hip replacements are really gratifying. They actually uh, were done before total knees were, so there's about 10 years more experience with total hips than total knees. And um, with the technology and the new kinds we have, people are virtually normal as far as their activities after a total hip replacement. The only thing we ask people to refrain from is running, like going out and jogging two or three miles a day. That constant vibration and impact could theoretically make it wear out sooner. But people with total hips can play golf, they can ride horses, they can go snow skiing, uh, anything you, know, you would normally expect to do, swim. Uh, but it's an, it's an excellent procedure. And interestingly enough, there's not much pain after a total hip replacement. Now, why that is, I'm not sure. But uh, I've had many patients that after a day or two didn't take any pain medicine after a total hip replacement. Here at Forsyth Street, we have our own outpatient surgery center. It's extremely easy to drive right up to the door. The nurses come at you and get you, take you right in. You do the procedure, get right back in your car and go home. 
that's quite a change from going to a large hospital with all the floors and uh, all the people. We also had an opportunity to hand pick every person that works there. And we had worked with virtually all of them in various operating rooms and other facilities. And we wanted to make sure that at our surgery center, the best, most caring, intelligent people that were around work there to get the comfort and care of understanding people at an excellent facility is just wonderful for the patient as well as for the physician. It's interesting in Japan, virtually all of the big companies before they start a work day will have a period of exercise and they're instructed again in proper lifting habits, stretching exercises, and uh, general back mechanics. And since that's been instituted, the incidence of back problems on the job has been cut tremendously. I had a patient that I did a total knee on here in Macon and they moved to South Florida. And there was a gentleman in South Florida. Well, he saw that she was doing well, so he got in his car and came up here and walked in and said, I want you to do a total knee replacement on me. I said, well, when can we set it up? He said, well, I want it done tomorrow. So I had a cancellation, so I did it the next day, and he did beautifully. Well, I started getting more and more patients from South Florida. And over a period of time, I must have done a couple of hundred total joints from South Florida because of that one patient that did well down there. So um, it's, we, we have patients from surrounding states and not just surrounding towns.